has a really vast vocabulary, physical vocabulary. It's like this gumbo, as Kyle calls it, this postmodern gumbo. It is ran by a gay man of color who creates work through his own realities. Kyle loves to explore humanness, which I think is vital and important. Finding a balance between performance as like a character or a caricature and also allowing yourself to shine through in your artistry. I think that's something that makes AIM very special. We are at New York Live Arts for the AIM Summer Intensive 2022. Don't change up. I created the Summer Intensive along with the dancers and our administrative staff to really help us to stay connected with our dance community at large. But we wanted to give back in a way and share what we do with the community as best we could. The AIM Summer Intensive is a really great opportunity for young dancers to really get to be that much more immersed within dance company culture. And we're also sharing a lot of conversation with each other about what it's like to be in a dance company or to have a dance company. This is something that it's like once in a lifetime opportunity. And this is the only place that you'll be getting this information. It's just such a safe environment. I've fell in love with Kyle and his movement. It's also just so refreshing to see so many people of color on a stage. The participants are chosen for the intensive uh, mostly through an application process. Four or five dancers will review the applications anonymously, so we don't know who's who. We're just reading through like what they've written, and but we all pick like two or three dancers. I think when you're doing a free intensive, you want to make the space for people to really share why they want to be there. It's not about the level of the dancer per se, but really the passion that the dancer brings to the process and to the space to share with us throughout the week. It's really a treat to see how people from different backgrounds and dance levels approach the work. Keep going in that direction. Back to the new. Left leg. Okay. Uh, some days it starts with me teaching a master class that maybe lasts around two hours, or it uh, starts with a dancer-led warm-up. There's a dancer-led AIM master class throughout the week as well. And then the second half of the day is mostly conversation and also learning repertory. Being able to walk into this room every day and feel safe, feel supported, feel like I can show up and be myself, that's something that's not often asked of you as a dancer. Here, it really showed me that I can just like let it flow through and let it feel natural. And that's what's beautiful about the movement. It just feels so genuine. I think this is the, one of the few times where I've loved dancing, where when I'm in it, I feel like I'm almost like in a trance for a second. As long as you put your all into it, you're doing well. I think these are the best artists on earth and to be able to, you know, be in the same room as them and learn from them has been very inspiring and rewarding. My highlight of the experience has definitely been meeting the company members, specifically just having a conversation with them in different dance atmospheres. Um, is this hierarchy, this pedestal, and what's happening here is something quite beautiful. We're able to just converse and then be vulnerable enough to ask those questions that might not be asked um, when there is a hierarchy in place. Actually working directly with Kyle in the classes, um, he's such a down-to-earth human being and just being able to chat with him realistically about his life but also just like see the whole process by which he creates and instructs. It's been very, very inspiring and challenging, but rewarding. It's really important for us to be able to offer this summer intensive for free. Um, not everyone comes from money and everyone has different means financially. To be able to get a lot and it costs nothing is just mind blowing. I could not afford to do this uh, if it, this was not free. Intensives were very expensive for me, so I will be paying like maybe like 3000 to 5000 Many people may not have that access, so for it to be free, it's just, it releases added stress. The fact that it's free is, it's just pioneering a really beautiful uh, mindset and it's advocating for the dancer to be able to actually further my training and 
be surrounded by these people and not have to think about the cost. It's so valuable.